Keturah, Abraham's forgotten wife, refers to a figure mentioned in the Bible, specifically in the Old Testament. Keturah is described as Abraham's wife after the death of his first wife, Sarah. According to the book of Genesis, after Sarah's death, Abraham married Keturah, who bore him six sons, Zimran, Jokshan, Madon, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Despite being mentioned in the Bible, Keturah's role is relatively minor compared to Sarah and Hagar, Abraham's other wife, who bore him Ishmael. Keturah is often overlooked in biblical narratives. Hence the term, forgotten wife, sometimes used to describe her. However, her lineage is noted as significant in the genealogies of the Bible, particularly as the ancestor of the Midianites and other peoples. Abraham, known as the patriarch of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, is a central figure in the Abrahamic religions. His story is recounted in the book of Genesis, where he is depicted as a faithful servant of God, called to leave his homeland and journey to the land of Canaan. Alongside his wife Sarah, Abraham receives the promise of numerous descendants in the land of Canaan as an inheritance. Keturah's relationship with Abraham raises questions about the circumstances of their marriage and the nature of their union. Given Abraham's advanced age at the time of Sarah's death, scholars speculate about Keturah's role as a caregiver or companion in his later years. Some interpretations suggest that Keturah may have been a concubine rather than a full wife. Although the biblical text refers to her as Abraham's wife, children and descendants Keturah's most significant contribution to the biblical narrative lies in the offspring she bore to Abraham. The six sons mentioned in Genesis chapter 25 verses 2 to 4, Zimran, Jokshan, Madon, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua, became the ancestors of various tribes and peoples in the ancient Near East. Zimran, Little is known about Zimran and his descendants, as the biblical text provides scant information beyond his name. Jokshan, Jokshan's descendants include Sheba and Dedan, who are associated with regions known for their wealth and trade in ancient times. Madon, the descendants of Madon are not extensively mentioned in the Bible, leaving their historical significance uncertain. Midian, the Midianites play a more prominent role in biblical narratives, particularly in relation to Moses who takes refuge among them and eventually marries one of Midian's daughters, Zipporah. Ishbak and Shua, like Zimran and Madon, Ishbak and Shua's descendants receive minimal attention in the biblical text, making it challenging to trace their historical and cultural impact. Legacy and significance While Keturah's role in the biblical narrative is relatively minor, her inclusion serves several important purposes. Firstly, it underscores Abraham's status as a patriarch and the founder of a multitude of nations, as promised by God. Secondly, Keturah's offspring contribute to the rich tapestry of ancient Near Eastern history, reflecting the interconnectedness of tribal and familial ties in the region. Keturah's story also invites reflection on themes of family, lineage, and the passage of time. In marrying Keturah, Abraham not only fulfills the biblical mandate to be fruitful and multiply but also demonstrates resilience and adaptability in the face of loss and change. Interpretations and reflections throughout history, scholars and theologians have offered various interpretations of Keturah's role and significance. Some view her as a symbol of fertility and renewal, embodying the promise of new beginnings even in the twilight years of Abraham's life. Others emphasize the geopolitical implications of Abraham's expanding lineage, with Keturah's descendants playing a role in shaping the geopolitical landscape of the ancient Near East. From a theological perspective, Keturah's story prompts contemplation on themes of faith, obedience, and God's providence. Despite the challenges and uncertainties of life, Abraham remains steadfast in his commitment to God's covenant, trusting in the fulfillment of divine promises even as he enters into a new chapter with Keturah. Keturah is a figure mentioned in the Old Testament of the Bible, primarily in the book of Genesis. Her story is intertwined with that of Abraham, a central figure in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. While she is not as well known as Abraham's first wife, Sarah, or his concubine, Hagar, Keturah plays a significant role in Abraham's later life and the expansion of his lineage. Historical and cultural context To understand Keturah's story, it's essential to consider the historical and cultural context of the ancient Near East, where she lived. During this period, family and lineage held immense importance, serving as the foundation of social structure and identity. Marriages were often strategic alliances aimed at consolidating power, securing resources, and ensuring the continuation of family lines. Keturah's origins Little is known about Keturah's background prior to her marriage to Abraham. The Bible does not provide details about her lineage. 
homeland, or family. Some interpretations suggest that she may have been a woman from a neighboring tribe or clan, while others propose that she could have been a servant or concubine in Abraham's household before becoming his wife. Marriage to Abraham Keturah enters the biblical narrative after the death of Sarah, Abraham's first wife. In Genesis chapter 25 verses 1 to 2, it is written, Abraham took another wife, whose name was Keturah. She bore him Zimran, Jokshan, Madon, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. This passage indicates that Abraham married Keturah following Sarah's passing. The exact circumstances of their marriage are not described in detail, leaving room for speculation and interpretation. Role within the family as Abraham's wife. Keturah assumes the role of a matriarch within the household. She becomes the mother of six sons, who, according to biblical tradition, go on to establish various tribes and lineages. While the Bible does not provide extensive information about Keturah's interactions with Abraham or her sons, her presence in the narrative highlights the importance of maternal lineage and the continuation of the patriarchal line. Legacy and significance While Keturah's role in the biblical narrative is relatively minor, her inclusion serves several important purposes. Firstly, it emphasizes the fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham to become the father of many nations. Through Keturah, Abraham's lineage continues to expand, fulfilling the divine covenant made with him. Secondly, Keturah's story underscores the interconnectedness of familial relationships and the enduring legacy of Abraham's faith. Despite facing challenges and uncertainties, Abraham remains steadfast in his commitment to God's promises, trusting in his providence to guide him and his descendants. Interpretations and reflections throughout history, theologians, scholars, and religious leaders have offered various interpretations of Keturah's story and significance. Some view her as a symbol of fertility and renewal, embodying the promise of new beginnings and the continuity of God's covenant with Abraham. Others emphasize the geopolitical implications of Abraham's expanding lineage, with Keturah's descendants playing a role in shaping the political and cultural landscape of the ancient Near East. From a theological perspective, Keturah's story prompts reflection on themes of faith, obedience, and the fulfillment of divine promises, demonstrating the enduring legacy of Abraham's faithfulness. Please subscribe my YouTube channel I hope you like this video thank you.